Food. 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 Food is a basic human right. Human right. It's a basic human right. I was amazed by this place, where can you go and someone is being served, you just sit and being served. And what they offer us is always healthy food. I think healthy food has an impact on their energy levels and their ability to maintain a positive outlook and just uh, face the daily struggles in life. It had helped me a lot, physically, emotionally, and my health has really improved. Whenever I see my dietitian, she has a chart, my skill keeps going up and up and up. We do breakfast and lunches on four days a week, and you're able to come and get a hot meal, something delicious, nutritious. So when they come to the drop-in, they can come in, have a seat at one of our tables, and then we have a wonderful group of volunteers that help support our programs daily. When I volunteer in Stop, I serve lunch. The Stop always said that they wanted people to be served with dignity, so I always smile and I serve them their meals. If somebody's upset, I try to talk to them because I've been through what all the people that come here go through. The Peer Advocate Office is very important to this community because the committee members access the advocacy office for resources like legal aid, pro bono lawyers, uh, housing workers. We want to make sure that we continue to have all of these opportunities available to people. And in order to do that, we need more support for our drop-in. We get very little from the City of Toronto currently. We get very little from any levels of government. We raise 96% of everything that we do in the drop-in through private donations. And we need more of it increasingly because of the high cost of food and because of the incredible need in the City of Toronto. And we currently are expecting that we're going to have a deficit in our drop-in this year. And we want to make sure that that doesn't happen. I think it would be a great disservice to this neighborhood. Um, you know, Davenport West is described as one of the lowest income neighborhoods in the city. I think in this sort of community, there'd be a lot more violence. There'd be a lot of hungry people. I don't know if I would have been the way I am if the stop wasn't here. Getting food in this neighborhood is not an easy thing. We believe that everyone deserves that right and it's um, a benefit to everyone in this neighborhood to have you know, people living healthy lives, a lot of schools, a lot of school children, they deserve to have the best, just like everyone else. Some people would starve if they couldn't come for lunch, if they couldn't go to the food banks. They would have no help with any medical forms or government forms. It would be uh, very, very uh, difficult for them if they couldn't access the services at the advocacy office. I don't know where a lot of people would go. It would be a terrible thing. Poverty is an ongoing situation. We have to do more to eradicate poverty in all communities. I cannot predict the future though, but I, I always look in a positive way. I see things opening up for me. We're going to continue to work with people, with hundreds of people, every single day uh, in transforming their lives and transforming the city. Will you? Will you? Will you? Will you be one? Be one over 100. 100. 100. Will you be one of our 100?